Welcome back to six news at five and we are keeping you weather aware on this Wednesday evening because we have multiple rounds of potential thunderstorms to talk about here over about the next 36 hours or so already kind of getting started off to our west and off to our east. I want to focus more on the storms to the west. Yes, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning, but that is moving into parts of east Texas and then southeast Texas. That is not affecting us. What could affect us as we head through the rest of tonight and especially into Friday is what's off to our west. So we're going to take a look here. Now these storms are expected to kind of slide to the northwest of central Texas. Shouldn't really impact us tonight, but I do want to take a look at this because with these storms, what we're seeing is we're seeing well, that's supposed to be the hail reading. I changed that a second ago. It did not stick, but that's there we go. That's what I wanted about a half inch hail. Again, we're talking up to dime nickel sized hail with this storm as it slides into North Texas. The other thing I want to look at, of course, the winds inside these storms 45 miles per hour. Now, why would I want to show you this if it's not going to impact us? Because that's the sort of threat that we're looking at for any storms that develop for us over the next 36 to 48 hours. Again, it's going to be primarily a wind and hail threat. So again, put everything back in motion. It's all going to move from southwest to northeast. So let's take a look at our forecast for the rest of this evening. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you two different looks of what our radar could look like over the rest of the evening. First model keeps pretty everything pretty much well off to our uh, northwest there uh, through the rest of the evening. But model number two does bring some of that activity into the central parts of central Texas. Your Hamilton up towards Meridian Hillsboro as we head through the seven o'clock through about the night. Excuse me, nine o'clock. Uh, sorry, I've been fighting a little bit of a cold here uh, through the nine o'clock uh, time frame. So that's what we're dealing with tonight. The only risk that we're really looking at tonight would be for our northwestern counties. Now, as we head into Thursday, things are going to look a little bit different by mid morning, early afternoon. We're going to see another round of showers and thunderstorms develop and we have that level two out of five risk for severe weather. Again, hail and wind the primary threats. That's going to be primarily along and west of I-35. As we head into Thursday night into Friday morning, kind of what we're calling the main event of storms is going to come through and that's going to push that severe threat to the east of I-35 as we head towards the early morning hours and into your morning commute. I know not ideal there, so let's take a look at the timing on all this. So as we head through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow morning, that's where we kind of expect that round two to develop right around nine through about the noon hour. Anything after noon through the early evening hours, that's kind of when we could see that hail and wind threat with any of these storms that develop. That pushes off. We get a relative lull for a couple of hours and then by morning drive Friday night to fr uh, Thursday to Friday morning. That's when those storms push across I 35 I 45 as we head towards about the seven o'clock hour. So keep in mind main threats with anything that develops going to be wind and hail. This is not necessarily a tornado setup as we head through the next several days. Behind that a cold front comes through on Friday. We're back into the 60s for the weekend 70s for next week. All right.